even before 2019 began. Islamic State was on the run, no longer able to rule territory in Iraq. There were some who said the terror group's time had come to an end. I've been president for almost two years and we've really stepped it up and we have won against ISIS. It was a claim U.S. President Donald Trump would make again and again. We just took over, uh, you know, you kept hearing it was 90 percent, 92 percent, the caliphate in Syria. Now it's 100 percent. We just took over 100 percent caliphate. The claims at times disputed by U.S.-backed forces leading the charge against Islamic State's last enclave in Syria. Then on March 23rd, the Islamic State's self-declared caliphate fell for good. Only it quickly became clear the fight was not over. Islamic State fighters, as many as 18,000 of them, still roamed ungoverned spaces in Syria and Iraq. While thousands of captured fighters and tens of thousands of their relatives languished in makeshift prisons and displaced persons camps. In April, Islamic State showed signs of life claiming responsibility for the Easter Sunday attack in Sri Lanka that killed at least 250 people and wounded scores more. There was also word from its reclusive leader, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, urging followers not to lose faith in what he called a battle of attrition. Elsewhere, Islamic State affiliates flourished, intelligence sources estimating as many as 5,000 flocked to the terror group's black banner in Afghanistan. So they certainly have got a desire um, and the, the propaganda would indicate that they want to conduct attacks outside of Afghanistan, thus far relatively limited. At the same time, Islamic State media operatives launched a social media campaign highlighting its efforts from Africa to the Philippines. But in October, a potentially devastating blow. Last night, the United States brought the world's number one terrorist leader to justice. Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi is dead. U.S. Special Forces tracked Baghdadi to his Syrian hideout, killing him, while U.S. backed forces killed his number two. Islamic State quickly responded, naming a new caliph, the still mysterious Abu Ibrahim al-Hashimi al-Qurashi, while IS followers and affiliates around the world rallied. The insurgency is alive and kicking in, in northwest uh, Iraq, for sure, and to a lesser degree Syria. Still, as the year ends, the U.S. and its allies struck two more blows against Islamic State, defeat in a key Afghan province, and near eradication on one of its favorite social media platforms. For the time being, uh, for as far as we know, uh, IS is not present on the internet anymore and we will see how fast, uh, if ever, they will uh, regain surface. Still, in places like Africa, where attacks like one in Niger killed 71 soldiers, troops are gearing up, expecting the battle against Islamic State to rage on with little end in sight. Jeff Selden, VOA News, Washington.